your girl Sama Pator. Welcome back to another video today. Listen, I am all excited. The topic today is dating a married man. Dating a married man is like giving yourself to the devil. There are women out there, guys, that are spending their time building a boy into a man. And for only to know that we are going to come into the people in relationship, come get picnic for them husband, come take over them husband, gonna cast them tears and sorrow and all that. So I'm here today to talk about it because it needs to stop, okay? So I'm number one, talking to a married man, your time with him is limited. Your time with the people in man, it is limited, okay? This man has to go home to his family. This man has to spend all the special days and special times with his family. I'm, I know that there are cases where you're going to find some careless, worthless, dead, worthless married man. And they're going to let the keep woman outside feels as if they are the, the wife. But guys, remember everything. You have to think about everything on a spiritual level. God don't like these things. Okay? And when I tell you that what goes around comes around i want you all to listen to me carefully what goes around comes back around it took me a while to realize that what goes around comes back around it took me a while to realize that but the moment i realized it that's the moment i realized that certain things i would have to not like i would have to don't do those type of things because I wouldn't want those stuff to happen to you. And you both live in a lie. Yes, you are both living a lie. So if you see me looking down, guys, it's because I wrote down everything and I'm looking at the papers. All right. Now, ladies, we have to be our brother's keepers. Why should we be happy with another man while his wife and kids are home crying and praying his, her heart out for him to come home and to stop cheating? Shake my head. Please be careful of those prayers and tears. They hit different. They hit real hard. Basically, that's what, what I'm saying is, while we are out here, another woman, husband, the woman is home crying. The child is home crying, want daddy to come home. The woman is home crying. The wife is home crying, wants her husband to be home with, with her. She's going to start pray, um, praying. Have you ever watched War Room before? That is legit one of my favorite movie, War Room. Okay? Where the lady um, met this elder lady and she was selling houses, right? So she met this elder lady and um, she was having difficulties with her husband. Uh, teach her, the lady teach her how to pray. When she started praying, the man they out of have dinner and stuff like that. And he had, he had was to leave the table and go home to his wife because his wife was home on her knees praying and crying. Let me tell you something, guys. When those prayers hit you and those tears hit you, it hit you different. You start thinking, oh, someone do me this. This person do me that. How come this is happening in my life? How come you weren't thinking about the woman that you were, make, you were making her cry? You were making that child miss her or his dad. Okay? All right. I don't want to spend too long because I want to make this video very short because it's very late in the night. Um, number two. All right. It's the same way someone is going to come in your happy life with your husband and, have, and destroy everything you work real hard for. Remember what goes around comes around so that's the same way when you get a husband for yourself that's the same way another woman is going to come in your life and destroy everything that you work hard and pray hard for because what goes around comes back around it has to be mindful of the stuff that we do and that's on period okay all right i have to keep it going and um, uh, move fast number three destroying someone else's home should never be anyone's plan think about yourself destroying somebody else's home should never be a plan never i'm not going to support anybody talking to whether it's a married man or you know that they are involved with somebody else i'm not going to support that but if you ended up talking to somebody and you know that they are with somebody else and the person was 
honest to you and tell you that I am I am I'm, I'm with somebody I have a relationship your plan should never be to get that person for yourself that is the height of wickedness okay listen Queens I am talking to y'all and we know this there are men that they man never no man when the woman pick them up they were some boy them could even keep them 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 hygiene self um them, them hygiene properly they couldn't even do anything for themselves them wasn't no man they were a boy they were never independent they were dependent and a woman take them up and teach them the ropes and turn them into a man right and only if you know say you you want a man that you want to take your woman man and take over that we have to be mindful of the things that we do there are ladies that invest in their relationship and we have to be mindful and we have to be thoughtful and think about stuff like that right so i am not telling you guys anything wrong and i'm not acting as if i have never done those stuff way down in the past but like when me i grow up and and stuff like that i realize that I, i'm getting uh uh mm -mm, uh this is how i felt like let me tell you something like like i spoke in my last video when the person the last person um did me wrong i wanted to I, I went ahead and I went crazy. I went out. Then after that, I start looking at myself and I stopped like, no, uh -uh. I'm not going to do this. This is the life that I want to live and this is how I do not want to live. I know it would hurt you if somebody does that to you as into the fact that they are going to come into your relationship hoping to take over your man. It would have hurt you. So think about yourself. You understand? Number four, you have some of us as female, we don't want a man until we see somebody else with the man. The man could be living in our community, live right next to our house. We don't want the man until we see one next nice girl take up the man and we're going to like if she can't take him up, me supposed to can't talk to him. That means you never have no confidence in yourself, mama. You didn't have any confidence in yourself and often time that is what happened. You we see some man out there and the man is free single and disengaged like, no relationship with anybody we don't want that man the moment the man is married and and is with another nice decent classy independent female that is when we realize that we have feelings to the man and we start push up ourselves ladies we need to respect ourselves you don't we don't need to deal with with sisters them husband and when i say sisters i doesn't mean our blood sisters okay we, you know say we are one yeah, you already y'all already know that we are one right like you ever see have you ever cried for a guy like literally cry for your relationship i've done it before i have done it before i told y'all i've done it before it's painful when somebody else when you go in somebody else's relationship or when someone else comes in your relationship guys think about the pain that you feel when you love somebody knowing that somebody else is messing with that person like nobody no more than nobody that's the same fear um that's the same pain the other individual feels as well so we need to be mindful of that number five number five is big bad sometimes we even get pregnant for the people them husband thinking so they might leave them wife and come talk to me that is the height of wickedness god just met the man and the woman just take the picnic from me and just have a happy family and leave with miserable little butt aside. Okay? How can you go and have sex with someone else's husband and lay yourself careless to get pregnant for that married man? Thinking that you're going to have that man for yourself. I am telling you guys, I don't care if you all want to agree with me. This is what I am saying this is what i am promoting it's dead ass wrong it is wrong it is totally wrong for a woman to be with another woman husband let alone go get pregnant for the woman man and have pity for the woman man what do you expect to come out of all of that please just tell me under the comment section what is it you expect to come out of that you expect to get the woman man for yourself the woman man with the woman i work hard for, um pan to become a real man because maybe she find him as a boy and she decides that she love him because she see few little nice things about him good qualities and stuff and she build him and make him become a, a real man so you know you want to take all of that way you just want the woman to work on the man and fix the man and turn the man into a man for you just come with one little 
walk my leg and come take with the man from the woman and get the man completely forget a family at your house for yourself and you did not work on anything huh that's not how life is that's a lot of crosses we are taking down for ourselves when we take up people married man queens let me tell you all this whenever you meet a man and you hear the man saying to you that um um you you ask that man are you with anybody and he be like not really we're going through a breakup we're having some difficult times and we're we're going through a breakup now so in a minute we're not gonna listen back a little bit and allow them to break up allow tell him say it's okay i'm gonna be here but we're not gonna start a relationship until you guys are completely finished because 95 percent of the time the man and the woman good at home the woman don't know if him, she and her man have been any disagreement the story that the man tell us sometimes is just to get our flesh and to destroy our self-esteem i'm telling you queens anytime y'all hear a man come to and come and tell them about um oh they are on the verge of breaking up and um don't want to leave that man alone secondly when a man come come um when a man look um trying to, when a man trying to get to you and telling you about his wife how his wife is lazy she's not acting sexy no more she's not holding any vibes no more leave that man alone that's the same way the man i got chat you with an ex woman okay leave that man alone that man is messy and toxic when a man come and talk about his baby mother with y'all don't feel special do not feel special that's the same way he's gonna talk about you with somebody else the man is a sissy okay and i'm telling you ladies if you have somebody married man or you have somebody baby daddy and they are together you're, you're in a somebody relationship let me just say you are in some send home the people there man okay that man is not yours send home the people them man you are not supposed to gain your happiness through someone else's sadness and it is simple as that we need to be our brother's keeper we need to be our brother's keeper me literally want to have a woman i don't care what you want to have and all you want to look in her number six is basically the last one so it's that six reasons why you should leave a married man alone and guys i can't emphasize one anymore but i'm telling you god don't bless mess and he god doesn't bless mess and he does not like ugly right and what goes around comes back around so everything that you are doing be mindful that it's gonna happen to you okay be mind some of the time some stuff happened to me i'm like god please just forgive me and give me the strength because it's karma yeah some of us act like karma never catch we because everything all the little stuff them that help us to become a better woman we act like them never wrong they were you know I do understand that they were lessons and stuff like that but they were wrong you know and that's the reason why I wouldn't do those stuff anymore you understand so like I said I am NOT gonna tell you that I've never been with a married man in the past I have but after a while I realized that it, it was nasty it was it was not of God and it wasn't something to do and that God was mad at me. And I was paying for it. I was paying for it. You understand? So I'm telling you, ladies, don't kill your self-esteem and don't make don't get yourself used and abused. Don't have the devil a drug drug you all over the place and a mash up your body. Okay? Send home the people there, man, in the mighty name of Jesus leave people man alone especially the husband them i'm asking you guys please to leave people married man alone because y'all days shall be bitter if you don't leave people married man alone 
this is the end of my video guys thank you for watching my video i love you guys so 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 much thank you thank you thank you thank you for watching my video guys how do you like my new look that i cut my hair for myself i did it myself and i used the brush you know the sponge thingy thingy that the barber used i used that to roll it and start my own makeup i did my thing thank you for watching my videos to all the queens all the kings if you're a new subscriber thank you for subscribing if you're an old subscriber i love you so much and thank you for coming back and chilling and i hope that you all learned something from this video and like i said if you're dating somebody's husband send home the man sis you're gonna thank me someday soon just send home the man me know you maybe love the man and stuff like that because it happened to the best of us but just make a sacrifice and send home the man and just go down for your knee and say god i made this sacrifice and, and i'm asking you to forgive me and give me a man of my own he will do it you know he will do it because he see the, the sacrifice that you make because you love the man but you send back home the man to the to, to the to the rightful owner which is his wife okay they did make a bow um tell that do us part you have to remember that you have to whosoever doesn't want to accept that you have to help them to accept that they made a vow to that do us part thank you for watching my videos thank you for making it the girl sammy patour stay tuned for more videos guys my birthday is gonna be next week friday the 15th of april you all know what time it is yeah! So like I said, guys, I'm happy to share my experience with y'all. I'm happy to give my testimony over here to teach somebody something. I'm happy to teach y'all what I know. I am willing to share my experience with y'all and I'm willing to help you not to make the mistake that I made in the past. Thank you for watching my video. Please remember to like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Hit that post notification button and keep the post notification on. So each time I drop an inspiring video y'all be the first to be informed sampatour love ya